Hello everyone, Takamasak here, and let's play Mega Man 3! The exciting finale of the Mega Man 3! Of course, he's got a skull room. Everybody's got a skull room. Now at this point, you probably have Hard Knuckle left over, or at the very least, Spark Shock. We are going to need both of those. And I really don't need a 1-up, but I guess I'll pick it up. What is my total now? Yeah, 16. I think I'll be okay. We fall down into the room of doom! Or of Krabby. Mr. Mr. Krabs? Yeah, let's get our hard knuckle ready. You can also use Spark Shock if you like. They, I believe they both do the same amount of damage. But actually, let me see here. Yeah, I guess you can actually fire Spark Shock a little faster. Now in this form, you could really cheese it up and use your Rush Jet to get him, like just go point blank with your rush jet and hit him, or you could just use the hard knuckle and hold it up so it kills him. Either way, not really too bad. You really gotta do a lot of button mashing though if you want to get on the rush jet. And we finally got him! Hard knuckle to the face! Yeah! Oh, I love it! <laughs> it's Mr. Slinky Wiley! And of course he's got a second stage, come on. You guys didn't see this coming by now? What is this, our third Mega Man? Eh, yeah, yet another one. Sure, sure, let's get another energy tank, too. And trust me, you won't need it. Yeah, a little bit of a disappointing ending, but... Uh, yeah, I, I guess that's it. Let's get our Shadow Blade ready. Of course you can't end the game without using the pink Mega Man. Well, what do you mean he's purple? Shut up. And he's got an R on his head, and you are absolutely unhittable right here. You can just sit here forever, but yeah, let's just throw Shadow Blades at him. HP gets to half, he will explode, and Dr. Wily will reveal his true form again! And watch out for the death spikes! Yeah, those spikes on the tip of him, on the tip of his hand there, are instant death. Now you could try to do it a the regular way. Or, of course, usually the weakest weapon, or weirdest weapon, in the game will hit him. You can just jump off, or you can, you know, use Rush Jet right here and cancel it off and hit him with top spin if you can't hit him with it from here. But yeah, just jump and... Oh, well, that was fail. Let's try this again! Yeah, he's gonna spit at me. Yeah, luckily his hand moves really slow, too. Boom! Yeah, it's basically one hit kill with the top spin. And that concludes Dr. Wily with a lot of goofing off. God, can you kill him now, please? Kill him! Oh, great, it's raining spaghetti. Oh! Ah. Well, hey, at least we killed Wily. Who cares? Doc, what? He's got an E in his name now? Uh. When I was a kid, I thought that spelled apology. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it, okay? Hey, and I'm fine. Breakman brought me here? Oh. Well, who the hell's Proto Man? I have never heard of Proto Man. Yeah, I kind of like this ending a little bit. It tells you, think about the first Robot Masters, what they were supposed to do. It's like, Galactic Man was the atomic energy controller. That's fairly interesting. Waste disposal, that's probably not the best way to do it. Yeah, I, I could have guessed that's what he did. Oh. I think we can get by just fine without him throwing ice around. Wilderness Reclamation Robot. Followed by the Timber Felling Robot. But yeah, here's where you kind of meet the other guys we found earlier. Roll, which we saw in the end of the first game. Okay, Dr. Wright again. Here we go. The game cannot make up its mind. Oh! Oh, okay. A uh, new robot, brother of Mega Man. Proto Man. So, yeah, if you haven't guessed by now, the Break Man that we've been fighting most of the game is actually Proto Man. He was supposedly testing you out. Now, he doesn't really look like Proto Man, but for some reason that's supposed to be Proto Man. I think Break Man had one eye, so I don't, I don't understand why they did that, but, well, I guess he had the whistle, so, yeah, there you have it. 
And that basically concludes the ending, and not too challenging, is it? I still don't know what he is. Ugh. All right, anyway, the, let's get with the, uh, we'll do the gameplay first. There's a lot of stuff I really loved about Mega Man 3 that they did this time around. It seemed like there were a lot of Mega Man 1 and 2 references, like, of course, Mega Man 2, the obvious, they had the Dark Master robots, and you had to kill all eight of those guys over again. And that was just, I really loved that the first time around, and those guys were just so hard when you were just first trying to kill them. Especially with your Mega Buster, I don't know how guys do Mega Buster only in this game, but... And there is some, uh... Like the old throwback monsters, like the Yellow Devil was pretty cool, and the, the Mega Man clone machine, but... It was a little bit disappointing that they made the clone so easy, they really could have mixed that up a little bit. He took so much damage from Search Snake, and he, and with that little trick that the first time it spawns is always the top one, so it's really easy to take care of, but even still, even if you don't happen to guess the first one, he's still really not that hard to take off, because even though he is on three platforms, the chances of him being on either the bottom one or the middle one are just really good, so... And I really enjoyed the sliding that they put in. It put a whole new spin on travel, made you move a little faster, and gave you a much bigger opportunity to, to glide. So that was pretty cool. And I, even though I complain about it maybe a little bit, I kind of like how they did the Breakman Proto Man. It's a little bit silly, like I said. They don't really look the same in my opinion, but I guess we've never really seen Proto Man to begin with. But yeah, what else? Uh... The only thing that was kind of disappointing that they got rid of from 2 is the difficulty settings. I really would have loved to see Mega Man 3 with just a regular difficulty, which we went through, and like a hard difficulty, or I guess difficult difficulty, like Mega Man 2 had. So that would have been really cool to see. I would have loved this game a lot more if that were the case, but it's not. But I'm definitely going to give this game a 9 out of 10 for gameplay, just because... All of that stuff I listed, I just love games that do retro stuff, which with Mega Man's only, what, three years total. Like Final Fantasy IX, I really love that because of all the references, but... And let's go with the sound next, I suppose. It's largely the same, you can't go too crazy with getting a big score for that, so I'm just gonna leave that as an 8. And the music to go along with that, I, I really like that. Uh, the final areas of Wily's Castle were pretty memorable. I mean, we went through it pretty quickly, but hopefully you got to listen to it. And the musics for Magnet, uh, Spark, and Shadow. The, those songs have been stuck in my head just about my entire life. As far as the rest of the guys, and eh, nothing too memorable. I honestly can't recall most of them already off the top of my head. But yeah, it's definitely cool. I... A lot of people probably wouldn't pick this one over 2, but this is actually my preferred Mega Man out of the first 3. 2 and 3 are really close, but 3 has just always been a lot more fun to play. And like with any Mega Man game, you can do these weird, crazy things. I see videos of people going through without getting hit, uh, just Mega Buster only. I mean, that's super pro. I'm not even close to that good, but... Yeah, anyway, uh, I would give probably the music... I'd give it an 8. There don't seem to be as many memorable tunes overall, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give uh, Mega Man 3 probably 8.5 out of 10 overall. I definitely recommend grabbing this game, if you're, especially if you're into Mega Man and throwback Mega Man or retro, whatever you want to call it. Go ahead and grab a controller and play along with me. And thank you for watching this LP of Mega Man 3. This is Takamasak. I will see you later. Thank you.